Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add mods to a Minecraft 1.16.1 server. Now, welcome to this video, but you need to already have your Forge server set up. You also need to have Forge installed locally on your computer. Both of those things I teach you how to do on our Forge server tutorial, which you can check out at the eye at the top of your screen and at the second link in the description down below. So the second link down below is going to teach you how to start your Forge server as well as install Forge locally, which you need in order to get a Forge server and add mods to it. Now. I also want to say here that your friends that are joining your server are going to need Forge installed as well as the mods installed on their local Forge as well. So an example is they will need to install Forge using the tutorial in the description down below. We have our Forge tutorial linked down below. So we have the start a Forge server tutorial, which you'll need to do. And your friends will need to go through our Forge tutorial, which will show them how to, you know, install Forge on their computer. And then what they'll be able to do is install the mods. You can just zip the mods up and send them to them that are on your server and they'll install them locally like any other mods in their mods folder. So that's gonna, that, I wanted to get that out of the way because that's something that a lot of people, you know, they, they come to a video and they wanna install mods but there's a lot of prep work you gotta get to get to the point of actually adding the mods to the server. This is basically part two of our series of getting a modded server set up. Part one was setting the server up. Part two is adding mods to the server. Nevertheless, if you're ready, if you've got your Forge server set up, we're good to go. First and foremost, though, we have a much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. If that was a lot, if that was overcomplicated, and you don't want to set up a Forge server, it's just too much, well, guess what? Apex Minecraft Hosting will allow you to do it in just a few clicks. So you can check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, and they don't require any port forwarding. It's super easy to install mods. All you do is go on their website, click basically the upload button, you click FTP, log in, and then click the upload button. It's going to allow you to add mods quickly and easily. And again, starting the Forge server is less than five minutes and just a few clicks to get it done. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, playedourbreakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start an incredible Forge server quickly and easily, check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get these installed. So the first thing we need to do is download some mods. Now we're going to be downloading a few mods today. By the way, this is the Forge tutorial. I meant to open it up earlier, but that's not here or there. This is the Forge tutorial that I was talking about that your friends will need to go through. Link in the description. But nevertheless, we're going to install a few mods. One iron chest, two is the gravestone, and three is connected textures. Connected textures technically doesn't work on servers unless there's something for it to use, like a texture pack, but we're still going to install it today just to prove that you can. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and start off with iron chest. All these mods are linked in the description down below, as well as our top five 1.16.1 mods list, which you can find in the description down below as well to find some awesome mods. Anyway, let's go ahead and scroll down, click on the yellow download iron chest mod. It will take you here, where you want to come over here to the right hand side, scroll down, find the Minecraft 1.16 version, and then click the purple download button to the right of that. It will then start the download in just a few seconds. With all these mods, this process is going to be exactly the same. So I'm not going to go into depth on how to install them. Go to the right-hand side, find 1.16, yada, yada, and then you'll need to keep them on the bottom left. That's important. So for Iron Chest here, you do need to keep it. On Mozilla Firefox, it'll pop up in the center of your screen where you'll need to save the mod. So we've done that with Iron Chest. Guess what? Gravestone, link in the description, takes you here. And then once you're here, click on the yellow download gravestones. What this does is it's going to actually add in gravestones. So when a player dies, whether it's you, whether it's your friend, whatever, when that player dies, they will have a gravestone placed and they can go back there and get their stuff. They'll also get a obituary, which will have like their death location as well as their death items. For example, it's kind of cool if someone dies to take these and like spread them around the server, people find them and can basically go on a treasure hunt. So cool stuff. But nevertheless, we're going to download this one. Again, right-hand side, 1.16. Purple download button takes us off where we'll need to save slash keep the file, depending on whether you're on Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome. So, boom, it's going to download in the bottom left where we need to keep it. One more time, we're going to do this with the connected textures. Right-hand side, click that. We're done. I'm, I'm not going to go too in-depth on this one, everybody. I will save you the, 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 the trouble of hearing me say something for a third time. <laughs> but let's just go ahead and click keep there. And now we minimize our browser here on my desktop. I do have iron chest, gravestones, and the connected textures mod. Um, I'm going to drag them over here just for ease of use. Boom, boom. Now, one thing I do have is this unconfirmed folder. You won't have that, but I'm going to drag it out of the way. Nevertheless, if these aren't on your desktop, by the way, they're going to be in your downloads folder. So click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon. Type in downloads, click on downloads there, and you'll find them all three in here. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, to install these on your server, it's actually pretty easy. All you need to do is open up the mods tab here, take these mods, right, that are on our desktop, copy them and paste them in. If you're on an Apex server, it's the same thing. Just log in via their website, go to the mods folder and upload your mods into that mods folder. It's that simple and it's that easy. However, you also need to install the mods locally. 
To do this, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now you should already have the Forge, you know, version here set up. You should already have Forge set up here. As you can see, 1.16.1 dash Forge. So you should already have that set up and then click play. Now it's going to launch up Minecraft. We're going to install these mods locally because yes, you do need to install these mods locally to run them on a server. For example, mod packs are perfect for this. If you make a mod pack for your server, then people can go and easily install it via something like Twitch or Technic instead of having to do everything manually. Right? But if it's just you and like three friends, this is worth it. Just send them the mods and you'll be good. But nevertheless, go ahead and get this launched up. This is very, very small. I'm going to launch up. I need to make this bigger so you all can see it. But nevertheless, once this gets launched up here, we'll be able to install these mods locally. So let's make this. There we go. Now you all can see what's going on. Once you're here, you want to click on this mods tab. Once you click on that, click on open mods folder in the bottom left. That'll open up your local mods folder here. This is different from the one on your server. And then you want to take all of these from your desktop and drag them, drop them into that mods folder. Now we need to restart Minecraft. So let's go ahead and do that. Open up the Minecraft launcher and restart Minecraft Forge. I'm actually going to change the resolution on this just so we can see better <laughs> pretty simple there bam all right now we can go ahead and click play with forge and we want to double check that we have our mods in our mods folder which we do and we can double click on the run.bat file to launch up minecraft or minecraft server excuse me our forge server with the mods installed so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and do a quick jump cut let the server start up let minecraft start up and i will see you so we can join and prove that all the mods are working and that we're all good so one thing i do want to mention is if that you get any like these warnings or you see error or something like that during startup a lot of times nothing happened so that is one thing that forge servers will do a lot of times they'll air out they'll have like warnings and things like that people like to freak out about them it's okay um warnings on a forge server and even on a bucket server a lot of times don't mean that much errors can sometimes mean something but especially on a first launch maybe it's just error and then generates a file so anyway it's okay if you see any errors and things like that we actually didn't get many errors in here but it is one thing i always like to mention that if you do see a stack trace like this right here that's what that is it's kind of an error um yeah that's okay but nevertheless as you can see this is now started up it says done there that means we are done it is started up and we can go ahead and jump into multiplayer what is that the best minecraft server in the multiverse play.breakdowncraft.com we've got green protected survival medieval with 30 custom quests and a player based economy aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy we've got custom factions custom skyblock it's incredible so come play with us play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip and i cannot wait to see you online anyway let's go ahead and direct connect to our local ip address because this is just a local server 1.123 and it'll join us on in we'll see it pop up over here on the left hand side i'm also going to opt myself on the server because it's just easier to do this if you're in creative so we're just going to go ahead op and then my username op space my username you can see maybe an operator and now i can do it into creative right like so and let's just test i guess first we will test our um we will test our i'm, I'm drawing a blank oh the uh the the gravestone mod sorry i got there everyone i love some of these new nether blocks by the way they're just so pretty to me um, so we have gotten some of the best blocks in this update that we've ever gotten, right? I think some of these are the best blocks we've ever seen. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump down. Boom, and there's the gravestone, proving that the gravestone mod is working. We've also got our obituary here. And I think, let's go back into creative, that I didn't run that far, did I? Yeah, okay, I ran over to here. And I think we're going to be able to see our gravestone probably in this area. This looks familiar. Did I really run that far? I, I can find the gravestone, but... We also do have the connected textures mod, which unfortunately there's no real way for us to uh, for us to really showcase. So 211 and 68. Really, I ran that far? That's crazy. So we're going to 211, and then we're going to okay. Anyway, I, I can't find it. I can't find it. But you didn't see the gravestone there when I when I died there. That's unfortunate. Anyway, gravestone. Yeah. And then we can also see them here that we have these graves that we can now put down. For example, if we go over here. We can put these graves down. You can harvest graves, by the way, using uh, Silk Touch Pick. So that's how you can get like these in vanilla Minecraft. But yeah, there you have that. Now, what about the Iron Chest mod? Well, guess what? The Iron Chest mod is right here. So we can go ahead and put down some Iron Chest, Gold Chest, Copper Chest, so on and so forth. You've even got the Dirt Chest, which is uh, just kind of funny. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and do that. So we can put these down right like so. Boom, boom. Put down a few of these. You can put some put some items into this if you wanted to but you can see all these chests are different sizes depending on what they are the iron being one of the smaller ones i think copper being the smallest actually working its way up gold diamond crystal obsidian all that stuff so awesome stuff that is how you can download and install mods on a minecraft server how to get mods on a minecraft server in 1.16.1 if you have any questions 
about any of these mods. If you've got any questions about adding mods to your server, be sure to let us know in the comment section down below. There is one more thing that I want to mention here, and that is some mods just simply aren't server compatible, right? Some mods just don't work on a server, right? They just don't. And if that's the case, you install it on your server, it's not working, you actually should reach out to the developer because the developer of that mod is gonna be able to help you more than we will be able to because most likely the mod just isn't compatible, right? It just doesn't have, <coughs> excuse me, compatibility with the, uh, you know, server and, and, and running on a server in Minecraft 1.16.1. So that is one thing I wanted to mention there because a lot of times it actually is more of a developer issue and we have to simply say, reach out to the developer. So maybe that could be, you know, that was something I wanted to mention. That way you all could kind of get started on that step without having to, you know, comment down below, wait on us to reply, all that stuff. But there is a gravestone that is in fact working. And if we go into survival and break this, we will be able to see all of our stuff comes right like that. So there you all have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you all so, so much for watching. My name is Nick and I am out. Peace.